Hello, I'm Brendan. And I'm Spencer. And we are part of Panic at the Disco. You're watching Kareng Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang Podcast, day three at Reading Festival. Here I am with Panic at the Disco. Spencer, Brendan, how you doing? Great. It's good to see you. How was today been so far? So far it's been great. Uh, I got to see a couple bands already, uh, which is always nice, you know, in the schedule, being able to see some bands. Um, the weather's been surprisingly beautiful. It just got sunny for the past couple hours, which is a nice surprise. Leeds was completely muddy. That was fun too. So yeah, we're looking forward to the show. It's going to be good. So how was the Leeds act, like the show, apart from the weather, how did the, you know, the new stuff go down in a festival setting? Pleasantly surprised, actually. Yeah. Well, I think we had an expectation of you know how it would go. Like, okay, you know, it'd probably be a little weird. We got up there and it was amazing. It was definitely memorable. It was crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, there was, there was there was more people than we thought. Yeah. Were gonna be. Sometimes you know you've got the the backdrop, so you're not really sure how many people are out there because uh, it was in in the tent and uh, yeah, we were really surprised. The show was one of the best of this run of uh, festival days that we've done. The last time Mm. On stage. Oh yeah. Uh, can you walk us through that traumatic? Uh, gladly. Part of your life? Well, it's not not really traumatic, but yes, I would gladly, <laughs> gladly. <laughs> uh, yeah, the first time we played uh, Reading, actually, it was our first festival in the UK. And we walked out. We started about 30 seconds into our song. You know, we got through like half of the first chorus, and then and then all of a sudden the bottle comes in, and it was like you know. It was like a different plastic bottle. It was like those harder plastic bottles that have the soda. It was like the taller soda bottle. Just got chucked up, and I was like swatting them away from uh, Ryan and John, who were playing guitar, and they couldn't do anything. You know, I was like keeping the music going. So, swatted it away. All of a sudden, I didn't catch one. It hit me right in the temple. And the next thing I knew, it just kind of went like a bright flash of white, and then it started getting darker. And I was like, this isn't good. And then I just kind of collapsed. I guess I watched the video. I don't remember much until I came to, uh, woke up slowly and I saw um, Zach, our buddy over there, kind of standing above me, just like, you know, is everything okay? And I was looking around for like the guys, I didn't really know how much time had passed, I just, well, where's the band? I said, well, they're off stage. I said, okay, I need to go find them. So I ran over and just asked the guys, like, are you guys okay to keep going? And they all said, yeah, as long as you're not, you know, dead. I was like, yeah, I'm good. So it worked out totally fine and still is one of the most memorable shows I think we've ever played. Oddly enough. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. You know, I was like, um, oh, I wonder what's going to happen now. You know, I was like, I told them, let's see how well you do with my left side because I'm kind of curious to see how much worse this could get, if at all, you know. But it ended up being awesome. And uh, then we played Leeds the next day and it was, there were no bottles. It was just like, I don't know, it was really cool. I felt really nice. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think someone threw a deck chair at 50 Cent once. Oh. That, that, so, you know, That's a little more brutal. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, Fall Out Boy was getting, uh, there was a guy driving golf balls at him. So like he was away on a hill just like swatting golf balls and throwing batteries. and That was a little harsher than a bottle, so I think we, we lucked out too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, what's, what's the next week on this whole well, uh, after today we go back to the States and have a couple more festival shows and then um, we take a week to get ready for our fall tour in October. Uh, actually, September we have some shows in Australia and then we're going to gear up for the fall tour and that'll be nice. So take us through the, the rest of the day, what are you going to be up to? Can you see any bands or well, see everyone who you wanted to yesterday? Oh, uh, God. We definitely didn't see every, yeah. everybody that we wanted to. We've got a friend uh, in off. Uh, and I think they're playing today, so we're gonna try to meet up. Hopefully, the set times always seem to contradict when we have like other things to do, you know. And so you don't always get to see everybody. But would that be Steve? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah Steve, Steve McDonald. McDonald. Yeah, we did a couple songs uh, with him a couple years ago. So um, he's a fun guy. But we were just looking at the lineup, and it's a pretty unbelievable list of bands. I mean, it's so massive, you know. And obviously, we're only playing on the one day, so we can only see those bands, but. As a fan, if you were to be here for all three days, it'd be quite an experience. Yeah. There's a lot of good music. Yeah. Totally. And bring Willing to Boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, it's been great talking to you. Thank uh, you. It's cool. You know, uh, bubble free this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Cross <laughs> our fingers. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.